Sia Golisi on his drinking habit almost cost him his family. Hi and welcome to Football Navigator. Please like, subscribe, click that notification bell and share. In his soon-to-be-released autobiography, Springbok captain Sia Golisi has recalled his battle with alcohol and how it almost cost him his family. In the book Rise, Golisi details his successes in rugby and life, his tough upbringing in the township near Kabecha as well as his battle with the substance abuse. Golisi made his Springbok debut in 2013 and became the country's first black captain in 2018. Under his leadership, the box won the 2019 Rugby World Cup and also beat the British and Irish Lions 2-1 in a series this year. However, his time with the Springboks hadn't always been rosy and in the book he recalls the shame of how he conducted himself around the period of 2015 Rugby World Cup. Galisi wasn't a regular starter in the Bok team for that World Cup in England and now he looks back embarrassed at the way he acted. He took to his book to write. Whenever I had time off, I just drank. I was bored and feeling sorry for myself. There were other guys around in the same boat who were always happy to hang out and it was all too easy for me to just hit the bars and pubs and be a good time guy. He continued to say, Rachel, my wife, had come out with the baby Nick and this would have been the perfect opportunity to spend some time with them. But no, I preferred to be out with the boys. It was an awful time for her and I was too selfish to realize in the end Rachel got fed up with me being a jerk and flew home a week early. Golisi recalled an accident back home that helped him realize he needed to change his behavior. He continued to say, A few weeks after the World Cup had ended and we were back home, I was lying on the grass on a Sunday morning as hungover as it's possible to imagine. My eyes were bloodshot and I stank of alcohol. This is how you look when you've been bad, Lepelo, the sister who I had adopted said. She was only six at the time. The perfect age for a child to tell you a home truth without even realizing they're doing so. Rachel and I had had enough. If it had been an isolated incident, that would have been one thing, but it wasn't. It would have been the week before, or the week before that, or the week after that. We're going to church, she said. She always went to church on Sunday. See you later, I grunted. We, she said, were going to church. That means you too. She was right, and I knew it. The trajectory of my life was bad. I had to stop behaving like this or else I'd lose my family. It wasn't stop drinking because drinking would have been fine and I'd just had a couple of beers and stopped there. It was stop drinking until you're obliterated. Each and every time because that was I. Whenever I opened to drink, it was tough. There was a message at the bottom of the bottle saying, Drink me, keep on going. I'd binge and not remember what had happened the night before. But I'd soon begun to tire off it and think there must be more to life than this. See, I recognized his alcohol habits and definitely worked on getting his family back. Once again, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe.